Hello Internet! Welcome to a new video episode featuring a DIY topic today in relation to 3D printing. Well, 3D printing has been around for some time now, but possibilities are still unknown to many. While talking about 3D printing among friends or colleagues, I often get these typical questions. And what are you doing with it? Or is a 3D printer useful? That's why we want to look at a repair use case. On the one hand, to show a typical field of application and on the other to find an answer to the questions of usefulness. Usefulness depends mostly on the costs and time we spend to solve a task. So let's take a look at how long such a small repair task takes. For this we will fix a small broken plastic sleeve of a microphone stand. We will measure it, redesign it, print it with a 3D printer and install it. Fortunately, I have a second one that I can use as a template. Let's see how long it will take to create a replacement part. I took a microphone stand. This consists of two parts and can be screwed together. This type of microphone stand should be widely used. To adjust the height of the top, there is a screw with a small round plastic sleeve. Without the sleeve, the screw cannot be screwed in and the height adjustment is no longer possible. This is very annoying and makes the stand pretty useless. Let's start and fix the little problem. And print a new part. So, here's our process. First, I create a sketch of the model. I will use the second sleeve as a template to get all the measures from it. From the sketch I create a 3D model using a CAD program. In my case I use Fusion 360. Besides of this commercial and licensed tool, there are many free alternatives out there, like Blender, FreeCut or OpenSCut, but also Thinkercad and many more. I used a rotation body as a modeling method. This is useful for a symmetrical round object. And this modeling method can also be used in Blender or FreeCut for example. I am using Fusion 360. Because I currently learn how to implement more complex design tasks and manufacturing techniques using functionality provided by Fusion. However, our small model can easily be implemented with other 3D or CAD programs. Third, we calculate a shell model, the STL file, 
The STL file contains the information about the shape and the surface dimension of our model. The STL file is generated by Fusion 360. Yeah, point four is to generate a G-code. The G-code is a machine language used by the programmer to tell the CNC machine what to do. CNC stands for Computerized Numerical Control and means that the machine, in our case the 3D printer, is controlled by a computer. I'm using Cura 4.0 to generate a G-code for my Anycubic printer. As material I currently use PLA, my nozzle size on the Anycubus is 0.4, my layer height is 0.2, I print it with 210 degrees Celsius, as the wall size I used 0.4 and 100 percent infill. I use no support and for better adhesion on the print bed I used a brim layer. Here are my settings. Pause the video to follow the printer settings. As point 5 in the list, we have the 3D printer. I saved the G-code to the SD card and then I printed it on my Anycubic i3 Mega. With the printer I had some small problems. Because the print bed was not 100% level. And with the layer height of 0.1, there was a little friction on the object. Because the object is very fine and has little adhesion to the printing bed, there were printing errors. Finally, I decided for a brim layer and the O2 layer. The infill is 100% and the temperature is 200 degrees Celsius because I wanted the sleeve to have a good strength. If you encounter any problems, you can reduce the print speed by, let's say, around 20% because it's very thin at the bottom and there is a very less adhesion to the print bed, so this could help. And reducing the print speed can help to omit errors. Let's repeat the question again. Is a 3D printer useful? In this case, yes, because the part is not for sale and this can be the case with many other defective parts or repairs. It took me 1 hour and 10 minutes to finalize the print and mount the microphone stand. Not bad at all. It's nice to be able to fix something that has to be thrown away if you can't fix it. 
and it's great to improve sustainability and to avoid unnecessary garbage. But this is only one side of the story. And you could go into more detail here and include the printer and the printing accessoires in the bill. But for me, 3D printing is first and foremost a way to design things according to my own ideas. The broken plastic part of the microphone is repaired and that's it for today. I will use the microphone stand again as a camera arm in my workshop. Anyone who has suggestions, ideas or opinions is invited to share them in the comments. In case of questions, I will answer them if possible. If you are interested in similar topics related to DIY, design and woodwork, just subscribe. And for today, all the best and have a good time.